beautifuls, this is Around here, and welcome back to XOXO Droplets. I feel like music's loud. Sorry. I felt like the music was really loud in, in the ear. Anyway, we are here doing the same old, same old. Trying to breeze through everything. I'm not too sure when prom day. I don't even know how, how we're going to react. Whose birthday? Is it Everett's? I don't know. See, Nate is so easy because he's always at the cafeteria. So it's really quick to like just talk to him. Oh, this time he's not. It was Shiloh then. Hello? Hello, Nate. Oh. I accidentally clicked twice. So it slowed down the dialogue. It's really cute, uh, him and, um... Nate and Everett, shoot, stop clicking, no. Nate and Everett always, like, not always, sharing, um, a breakfast. Let's say breakfast. Best friend necklace. Really cute. I'm guessing that was Everett's birthday. Now April. We're nearing May. Yeah, you have to ask us out soon. Well, we technically ask him out. Ever. What if this game was so high tech where one of these guys actually falls in love with you while you're dating someone and then you can go after them? That would be insane. That would be really difficult. Because I hate, like, <laughs> triangle love stories in, like, manga or anime or anything in general. Because it's like, gosh darn it. Because I usually fall in love with the underdog after, even though they're not main character. <laughs> so they're never going to win the girl. Feels bad, man. Hey, baby. Yes? Scum. What is wrong with you? Many things, Muffin, you know. <laughs> You know that. I feel like music's too Okay, fair enough. But why haven't you asked me to prom yet? You can't pretend you just forgot. Oh. Oh, that. Yes, that. Explain yourself. Uh, I am aware of the implications on your boyfriend, so I should properly invite you to special occasions. Exactly. So when are when were you gonna when you when were you planning on getting on that, huh? Soon. Mm hmm well... The truth is, I don't exactly want to attend prom. You had glasses custom made for it. That's correct. I wanted to be prepared in case I did go. And it's sometimes nice to create an outfit, even if it doesn't... Even if it isn't going to be used. Seriously? Yes, dear. What the hell? Nick was right. You're insane when it comes to clothes. Just when it comes to clothes? I'm kidding. Whatever. You're going to prom to get to ask him. If I must. <laughs> Oh, he's asking us! Cute! Hey, Chico, would you like to attend senior prom with me this Saturday? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll think about it. Of course. I understand. But please don't keep me in suspense for too long. I will be in, uh, I will be able to handle the stress. Well, since you were kind enough to use my actual name for once, I'll accept. Peachy. Oh, he did. Now that I realize. Yo, Bay, you're on top. You're number one now at this point. Lovely. I'll pick you up at your dorm shortly before it begins. Perfect. It's a date. I'm not a fan of dates, personally. I prefer peaches. Good for you. Good for you, babe. <laughs> he even comes through with the puns. Total babe. Sleep. Sleep it off, dude. Hey, Sup, Nate? You got a date, my dude? That was cute. Because all the other routes, we had to ask, or uh, assuming in- I believe in Nate's route, he just assumed we were just gonna go together. Like, he assumed that he didn't need to ask. Hello! I'm here, Suki. Oh, you look so enchanting. You definitely fit the vampire vibes. Hooray! 
And I must say, Bay, you look even more like a future super villain tonight than usual. Kudos. Thank you. Wow, now the music is loud. Calm down. I can't have it in between. Uh-huh. Though, if you had bought, brought a red rose care around, that really would have put you over the edge. I did consider getting a rose for you, actually, but I knew you'd tell me I should have brought candy or cash or something useful instead, so I preemptively decided you didn't deserve a gift. You know me so well. <sighs> when you inevitably take over the world, I hope you won't forget me. I would never. Aw, oh, thanks, babe. Great, great. Do you mind if I suggest a name for the cat you adopt just to have sit on your lap? I wouldn't mind at all. What are you thinking? Okay, how about Bartho Bar Bartholo Meow? It's all fancy but so humorous in a really stupid way, just like you. How precious. If I do get a cat, that is what I will name him. Seriously? Absolutely. <laughs> Awesome. It's nothing. Well, shall we? Yes, we shall. There's some Well... Cute. This is it. I truly do hope it's everything you've dreamed of. It is. Really now. Yes. Because all I dreamed of is being here with you, baby. How precious. Thanks. Anyways, I bet you're glad you decided to come. Of course. Psh, you will be? Mm-hmm. So, what would you like to do? What else? Let's dance. Only if you let me leave. All right. We can take turns, cutie. Now, come on. I'm really surprised. I thought he was gonna be like, no. I I, I just wanted to sit. <laughs> All right, everyone gather towards the front of the stage. It's time to announce our prom king and queen. And the winners are... Nate Lawson and Michiko Melody. Let's give them a hand. Oh, uh. the crown. Thank you all. I so deserve this. Now for my acceptance speech. Yeah, thanks. Hey! All right, congrats, Gumdrop. This is such an achievement. Thanks. Thank you. It was only logically lo it was the only logical outcome. Mm, certainly. I'm sure you're just blown away that all that you of all people are dating the prom queen. No one ever would have guessed that. <laughs> if you say so. Hey. Hello, Ducky. I just want to say that I don't want to have to do this. It's not up to me. Oh, I don't mind at all. Go right ahead. That's great. What? Why not? I'd be a better boyfriend than you. Basically, everyone else here would rather see her and me together. You should definitely mind. Well, Nate. Wow. Isn't that nice? That's nice, something. Nate, I th I think you want to be to be with me, honestly. <laughs> Come on, Nate. You know how Bebe is. Even if he did care, which I bet he does, he wouldn't tell you about it. Now let's just do this. Fine. He is really aggro. <sighs> oh, what's wrong, love? You didn't enjoy that. Are you feeling better now? Yes, I am, Sweepy. Good. After this little break, we're going back in. Of course. You've got ten, then. Ten what? Fingers? Excellent county skills. You're such a nut. Minutes, you clown. <laughs> Sorry. Mm, I'm going to need at least thirty. Come on! You can go back in without me, you know. Oh, that's freaking weak. So sorry. <laughs> what is this? Is he hugging me? Well, arm, shoulder around me? Sheesh, why in the world would you- Why in the world do you talk like that? Hmm? You know, I was just sort of saying it before. But now that I think about it, I actually want to know. Is there a reason you talk the goofy way you do? <laughs> I can tell you, but I can't imagine you like the answer. Save it, it's too late, I need to know now. I use this tone for children. And people I don't have much respect for. <laughs> you jerk! I warned you, Cookie. Well, what the hell? Why are we even dating? That's an actual question. I can't understand dating someone you are in love with, or whatever, but dating someone you don't even respect doesn't make any sense. No, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, this prom date is going sour. What? I'm sorry, that wasn't the reaction I was expecting. <sighs> Freaking hell, I'm so stupid, I can't believe I took you seriously. Oh, my little gumdrop, stupid is such a harsh word. It is rather uncharacteristic of you, though. Mm. What happened? I don't know. That was a what that was as close to a significant moment as we've ever gotten. But you have never phrased your opinion of me like that before. <sighs> for a split second, I foolishly thought that maybe this was you being legit for once. Well, I suppose I could have thanked <laughs> thank you for having such high expectations of me. But if I truly had no respect for you, why would I why exactly would I decide to open up here in the first place? Look, I already admitted that was my bad. We don't have to keep going over it. Said, how about we talk about you? Of course. Gladly. <laughs> okay, it may have been in a roundabout way, but you undeniably admitting admitted to have to having respect for me. That's really big of you, baby. I had no idea anyone else in the world deserved this. It's amazing. 
Well, while I'm thrilled, you're pleasured about this. I don't believe it was a secret weapon. True. Clearly, you've always thought highly of me. You're just too nuts to go about it in any kind of normal way. But I'm still gonna have fun with this. Wonderful. Uh-huh. You were such a sweetie pie right then. So worried about my feelings. Adorable. Tisk tisk. Don't I always say how I'm concerned for everyone? Even the other students at this school? All I want is for them to grow up well. I had hoped that you of all people would have been able to believe that. Oh, brother. Please, even if that is true on some level, you love pissing everybody off. You can't tell me that reaction wasn't meaningful. Of course I could say that. I won't, though. Good. Mm -hmm. I can tell that's one of those little things you're going to believe no matter what anyone says. You mean that thing you do every day of your life? Exactly. The difference being that I'm actually right. Huh. You were wrong like two minutes ago. I'd say that was for your mistake than mine, but if it makes you feel better, okay. Man, I still don't think I fully understand why you're like this. Oh. Why shouldn't I be? Well, the, the people who matter all agree that I am as good as I know I am. Others simply can't pass their own issues to see it. That isn't something I'm going to concern myself with. Is there anyone who matters that isn't you? Yes, my family and those I'm close to. I know who you're applying with that. <laughs> wow. Good job. Isn't that special? Whatever, jerk. And hey, I gotta thank you for bothering to salvage this relationship. If you had just let me keep going, I might have dumped you. I am allowed to break up with you myself. That's what I want to ducky. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and you accused me of only considering my own opinion. Yeah, yeah. Now that you've reminded me, I better go tell everyone that Bae Pyeon really wants to be my boyfriend. Again, I don't think that's a secret. All things considered, I'm so sorry for raining on your parade. You want to be my boyfriend. You really like me. You want to go on dates with me. You want to get dates together, sorry. You want to kiss me. Cute. Wow, you really want to do all that, right? <laughs> and we've arrived. Thank you so much for allowing me to escort you home. Ah. You're welcome. I can't believe prom is over. Sorry. All things, all good things must come to an end. It still sucks. There will be other parties, Posey. Yeah, that doesn't help. I'm very sorry. You know what would have helped? No. However, I'm positive you'll let me know. If you came into my room and kept the party going, I'm afraid I won't be breaking that rule again. Weak. <laughs> again, very sorry. There's always tomorrow at a normal hour. Fine. Bay is the ultimate boyfriend in this game. Hi, <laughs> Nate. You, you jealous guy. He's, he's really cray. Okay. Jeremy looks really angry right there. I'm ready for school to be done today. I'm checked the fuck out. <laughs> Sigh. I'm ready for all today to be gone. Or to be done. I'm also ready for tomorrow to be done. And the next day. And the next Ugh. day. Why are you talking to me? Why? Are, what are you even doing here? I asked myself that question on the time. What am I doing here? Can you stop already? What do you have to have to complain about besides the fact that no one likes you because you're always depressing for no reason um everett i re i like jeremy um and what exactly do you have to complain about everett you started this <laughs> oh fuck you and to answer your question your very existence makes me literally want to die painfully <laughs> i feel the same way about me having to exist fuck you <laughs> just keep turning around the questions Hi, Nate. Hey! What? Oh man, Pran, I, I forgot you wore that. Whose birthday is this? Punch? We're gonna punch Everett, because I always choose that. We're gonna kiss. And marry Bay. Well, it's a smart choice. I'm gonna be a very good husband. Uh huh, that's why I'm picking you. Yes, that would- that should be why you choose someone to marry. Yep, well it's over. Thanks, you're a lovely boyfriend. Of course. Yes, yes. Uh, hi Betty. I don't remember who you are. I don't even know who you are, actually. Not talking to Everett, heck no. <laughs> we'll go to him on his route. Oh, Nate. Oops, no. Has to go away. Oh, there. Are we 
nearing graduation. Pretty sure we are. Oops, nothing. Oh yeah. Oh, this is a revealing the killer. Count. Sending messages. And I'll let it go with his loyalty. I don't remember. There you go, Nate. Next! Hello. This is this uh, this Amanda. This Amanda from the daycare. Today was a rough day. I had to break it to the kids that you wouldn't be coming back. To calm them down, I let them sign this card. So do look at the back of this letter. There are so many scribbles you can't really make out any words, but they put their hearts into it. We all want to congratulate you on graduating and let you know you're free to visit us anytime. All the best, Amanda Baxter. <sighs> That's great. That was it. Dang, we didn't make any friends. Feels sad. Okay, one week left. Was well, Iris? Yep. Over Iris. <sighs> End of the road. Bad. It's okay though. Oh, this is when we. Uh, oh, I don't remember what. What day when Sanders found a decision. Oh, when he went to go see. Yeah, I did. Cool. Can I maybe sit next to you? Well, we'll see. Do any of you boys cry during sad movies? No. Hell no. Maybe. Come on. Chase is okay to get emotional sometimes. Isn't that right, Nate? What? <laughs> why are you Why are you bringing me up? No reason. Well, with everyone decided, let's get in line. We don't want to miss the beginnings. Okay. Uh, Everett not even trying to hide the fact that his phone was out the entire writing time. Charlotte pretending to care about those losers' struggles. And Bay speaking out loud his advice to fictional characters in a movie. They're enjoyable. Psh, there were like two other people in that theater like I was gonna give a fuck. So sorry. If, <laughs> if that distracted you from the wonderful story. I am compelled to give suggestions when I can. But I really did feel bad for them. I'm literally, I'm literally, uh, Chilo. Wait, what did Chilo do? I don't remember what he did. I'm literally Bay though. I talk in movies sometimes, but it's only at home when we were watching a movie. In the movie theater, I will not talk. I'll probably like cry a whole lot because I cried in uh, Finding Dory. My brother was sitting in front of me and Tyler was sitting beside me. And my brother, once the movie was over, he's like, man, I heard someone crying, you know? <laughs> It was me. I wasn't even crying that loud. I didn't feel like I was crying out that loud. But the movie was insanely quiet because it was just a bunch of kids. They don't know any better. They don't know the real deep reason and feelings. I, I don't know. I felt so... I cried so much because I felt so, like, sad for Dory's parents. Because they never stopped giving up trying to find Dory. Can you imagine that in real life? I'm, pr I'm pretty sure people are dealing with that right now where they're constantly not wanting to give up, not wanting to think their child is like the worst possible situation. And I was just thinking that and it's a kid's movie and I was just crying so bad. Okay, I'm done. No, um, thank you all. I imagine we're getting hungry. So let's make our last stop of the day. But dude, finding Dory so much more. <sighs> Here's the moment we've all been wanting. There, there, sugar plum. Nothing can last forever. Weak. It still sucks. Well... I tried. That's really all you're gonna do to cheer me up. What else can I do? <sighs> I don't know. If you think something, feel free to share until we're at the end. We're both out of ideas. I could think of plenty of things if I wasn't, I wasn't so upset. You've got no excuse. Fair enough. True, but maybe next time you're in high spirits, you should, list you should write a list of things someone could do to cheer you up when you become sad again. If you think saying stupid things like that is going to cheer me up, you might be right. I don't see what's stupid about that idea. <laughs> okay, I do feel a little tiny better about all of this coming to an end. Mm -hmm. That reminds me, there was something I've been meaning to talk to you about. What's that? I don't... I hate this part in every guy's route. 
I simply want to make sure we're on the same page. After graduation, we're not going to be a couple anymore, right? Or correct? We're not going to be a couple anymore? You jerk. Uh, not correct, actually. <laughs> you genuinely want to stay together? Yo, your face makes it look like you don't want it. Yep. I do. I can't imagine why. Because I wanna. I'm sure we can make long distance work. And if we can't, then we can break up. No reason to throw in the towel just yet. Sorry. Now you're the one who's not correct. I'm not looking to play games anymore, Cookie. It's time for me to start taking dating seriously, and I advise you to do the same. Uh-huh, and you've got some other girl already lined up? No, but... Yay. Then it's settled. If I'm willing to be in a relationship with a guy who's never close enough to touch, I think that's serious enough. And it's not like you're gonna be able to do able to find some better chick. I suppose there's a bit of logic behind that. I don't need to have a girlfriend at all times, of course. But that is quite a significant loss you're willing to take for the relationship. See, I'm mature when I want to be bae, okay? See, if this wasn't me, you'd never admit that anyone else had even a portion of a point. Unless they were totally agreeing with you, obviously. Credit where credit is due. I'm not to blame because credit really is due. Uh-huh, I'm glad I've come to a conclusion. Actually? Not yet, actually. Hello? Since you seem to have missed my very subtle implications, I'll be blunt. I'm only looking to spend time dating someone I have a chance of marrying someday. Oh, you're quite serious. You're like my brother. <laughs> I could marry you. <laughs> How could you? I hadn't noticed. Tisk tisk. Clearly another reason why you need me. You actually wouldn't mind settling down with one person indefinitely? Aww. I get it. You're trying to push me away because you think I'm going to get bored of your obnoxious ass sooner or later. Of course. <laughs> you finally figured me out. Well, don't worry about Silly it. Silly me. It's shattering advice. Thanks. Thanks, now it's settled. I suppose. Alright, dear. For now. For now? You don't think I can stick it through, dude? You don't think this is gonna last? Makes me feel sad. <sighs> uh. <laughs> what is this? I'm gonna have to find a way to pack away this freaking massive card Mario, Iris, and the gang made for me. I think I might actually miss those clowns. Knock, knock. Please come out, starfish. I'm waiting. Hey, yeah. Hello, baby. Are you gonna thank me for going the for thank me for going the graduation ceremony with you now? What? And why would I do that? Because it'd be pretty humiliating to go by yourself, and we both know that's exactly why I, what would have happened without me. Tisk tisk. I thought you'd realize by now how little everything in high school matters. I suppose you'll have to actually leave the school first. Everything, even our relationship. Hmm. Uh-huh. Our relationship is lasting beyond high school, so, by your own definition, it must be important. Of course. True. Exactly. I know how much I mean to you. Yes, dear. We should go. Being late would be tasteless, don't you agree? Yeah, whatever. <sighs> I don't know if going with you was a good idea after all. Wow! What an absolute shock. I mean that. You were so insistent on it before. Like I said, I couldn't- I couldn't leave you all on your own. Anyways. You're way too happy at this moment, and that's sucky. I know you were born ready to graduate high school and all that, but I'm still sad about it, and that's more important. Actually... I was born to live, actually. <laughs> but so sorry, sweet pea. Now, even though I'm certain you'll get over leaving soon and wonder why you even bothered or wasting energy over something like this, I will be considerate of your current feelings. Thanks. It is nothing. Is there anything I can do to help? Mm-hmm. You can. Not get angry at me for making fun of how you're not getting rewards or recognition at the graduation ceremony. When have I ever gotten angry at your little jokes? Good, so it must be tough for you to be an unsung hero all the way up to the end, huh? Cute. I'll survive, Dumpling. I bet you're looking forward to the 10-year reunion party. I'm sure by then everyone will want to shake your hand for all that great advice you finally realized you gave. Of course, and maybe in a mere 10 years, our little group could get back together at that reunion. Aww. That's depressing. I was trying hard to cheer myself up. Now I'm right back where I started. Oh no. My mistake. Yeah, right. You're such a jerk. Says the person who spent the last few minutes making snide comments about me. Please, everyone knows you don't have real human emotions. It's not the same thing. Actually, I take that back. 
why. Okay. Because it's just you and me now. I should be a little nicer, at least for today. That's wonderful, Twinkle. That, that, that it's all about us now, or that I'm generously gonna be kinder for a little while. I can't decide. Let's go with both. Sure. My poor, sweet, precious gumdrop. I don't enjoy seeing you like this. Sorry. My bad. I didn't think about how it'd affect you. Apology accepted. With that done with, I was just- I was wondering if you were still stuck on the silly notion of us staying together. If you think asking that- at that after being annoying, it's gonna make me change my mind, I'm not gonna be the only person feeling disappointed. <laughs> I was only checking. Mm -hmm. Well, you can stop checking, I'll let you know. Or you could do it. Hmm. Yep, go ahead. Just end things right now. Make it quick. What is going on? No. No thank you, dear. Why not? I'm afraid leaving you on this day might be too crushing. Ha! <laughs> Knew it. <laughs> the only one who's gonna be left anywhere is you, Slowpoke. Give me your arm, I'll help you keep peace. Thank you. We don't got all day, baby. Save your ridiculous elongated sentences for later. If I must. No, you guys are so cute. You better not dump me after this graduation, you jerk. Man, walking this way is nice, but thanks to that normal human pace, we're actually almost there. A very astute observation, Pumpkin Patch. Uh, Pumpkin Patch? Is that new? <laughs> Good job. So you noticed. Amazing. Okay. Why'd you suddenly decide to start using a new doofy nickname? This seemed like a fitting time. But, and I thought it might distract you from what else is going on. Psh, I'm not that simple-minded. Oh. Really? How surprising. You're such a nut. Now shall we end this little adventure already? It's been a long time coming. Only if you're gonna make what comes next worth my while. <laughs> Certainly, I can't imagine it could be any worse. Thanks, Bay. As long as you're around, I feel the same way. You shouldn't rely on others for your happiness, dear. Shut up. And what exactly is the up that I need to shut? Oh, brother. Is your entire face an, <laughs> an option? Mm, I don't believe that's possible. Then how about shutting up your annoying attitude for a few minutes? Now, I know that's not possible, as it is for you as well. Fair enough. Now, after you. No, after you. Together, then. I suppose. I suppose that'll be fine. Together is apparently what we're <laughs> going with. I can accept that for now. You've been saying for now since the start, pretty boy. I'm sure it's taking a while for that to come into play, hmm? Naturally. When, he when have I ever done anything quickly? It will get there eventually. <laughs> Whatever you say, jerk. Still, I'm very glad. I'm, I'm ever so glad you can tolerate this for now. <laughs> You're ever so welcome, Pumpkin Patch. Oh, that's so cute! He gave us a new nickname, Pumpkin Patch. Cute. Cute. Where, where are you at, Bay? Here you are. Outfit gallery? Yeah, we unlocked it all. We screwed up with Jeremy by using the uh, cheat code too fast. Oh, here it is. Here's the picture that uh, I skipped so quickly when he, he took our news. Look how cute he is! This is the best one. They holding us. They is holding us. This is so great! It aligned perfectly. The His uh, his end route lines up on the last day this is being uploaded for this week. So that's, that's so cute. That's so cute. I, I honestly, honestly, Bay is number one. Bay is on top. Nate's second, and Jeremy's at the bottom. Sorry, Jeremy. Hopefully, he's, Jeremy will, will step up. But Jeremy had his. I feel like I can't even really compare all the guys because they're different in different ways. And their personalities are different, and the way they react to the girl, the main character, is different. But honestly, if I had to pick my favorite, it would be Bay because he kept up. But I feel like Everett. You guys have told me Everett really keeps up with her. So, maybe Everett will steal Bay's place. But right now, I am in love with Bay. I will never have laughed so much with Bay. He keeps up with me. He makes puns, and I love puns. And his stupid nicknames. <laughs> and the fact that he gave us a new one. I don't like how the guys are all like, Oh yeah, we're gonna stay together for now. I think each one of them kind of mentioned it was only temporary. Because... You don't know what's gonna happen after high school and all. Man, that that realism hurts. Not for me. I I came out okay. 
but I'm sure it hurts other people that had dealt with this. But anyway, now that we're done with Bay's route, the next route is Pran. You guys excited for that? I'm really excited. He's interesting. He's different. I don't know what to expect from him at all. Actually, let's go look at um some of the clothes that we have already unlocked for Pran. Okay, we, we've seen some already. I guess it's not going to show that we have more. I like his hair up. Cute up. But it's also cute down. <laughs> Back to bay. What? I had to pick which outfit. Which outfit is my favorite? Hmm. It might be this month. March and April. Oh no, May and June. It's pajama. Swimsuit's cute. Yo, wait. All of his outfits are pretty good. I'm not a big fan of July and August and um, November and December. I'm not a big fan of these two. They're they're all right, but I feel like oh no, his May and June. Probably his May and June will be my top favorite because it's it's casual, it's casual, and he looks really refined. Probably because of the watch. <laughs> but anyway, this is it. Thank you guys for watching. Stay beautiful and get ready for Pran's route, guys.